You know, it's funny, uh, until I tested positive for COVID, uh, that I wasn't actually sure what to expect when you did the test. I mean, how does the little red lines show up? And, uh, you know, it, which comes first, which comes second? You know, you've got those two lines and things like that. So um, since testing positive the other day, uh, and I'm feeling fine, by the way, but since testing positive, I thought I'd video it today and, and show you what is it, what, what to expect for those of you that haven't had a positive test yet. And it is a yet, because I don't know where I got mine. But anyway, have a look at this. Dee dee dee. Take the little, little thing. Wash your hands, of course, first. Take the little thing. I've done that. Uh, put that to one side. And then you get this little packet here. You get it ready. And you get that all nice and ready to go. Uh, then you get your little cap. Because you're going to use this plastic bag as the waste bag in a minute. A little cap steady there, so use that as the waste bag. Ooh, the spatula or whatever it's called. I hate this. I do it every day now, so <clears throat> dying to see. So, you blow your nose, of course. You, do, you need to do that, because if you don't blow your nose, uh, this thing can pick up some goo and stuff, and then it gets blocked in that, and then it doesn't come out properly. Yeah. So, here we go. I'll do it now. As far up as it will go to resistance, and then you turn it five times, but you also sort of go round the nostril as well, five times. I've done it that often now, it's actually sort of quite pleasant. And you do it in the other nostril as well, five times. Oh, it is sort of bordering pleasant ish. And then you stick it in here. And you dab it up and down a few times. You turn it round and round and all that sort of stuff. And then you leave it for one minute. <laughs> so one minute goes by pretty quickly. Now this time, before you take it out, because the, the little head has absorbed quite a lot of the liquid, you sort of can use the tube to sort of squeeze. You can see that squeeze and twist the liquid out. So this thing will then come out relatively dry. I then stick it in the original plastic container. Be careful not to touch the top of it, obviously. Uh, then just fold that across and break it into the container, like so. And then the whole lot will now go into this little plastic bag. And it's nice and safe to be disposed of. Now, here's the test. It's like getting your O-level results. How exciting. So I've been positive now for, this is my fourth day four of being positive. So um, it's all very exciting now. So I'll show you, uh, I, I think I'm gonna be positive for another few days, but I'm not sure. No one really tells you how many days you are positive for. Here we go now. Now, because um, there still may be a bit of, you know, gungy stuff in here, yeah, um, it's best to turn this upside down for a little bit of time, turn it upside down like that and then wait a couple of seconds. Because this head cap, I don't know if you've noticed, but it has got a little sort of filter in it to stop the gunge coming through. But then we do uh, three or four drops. One, two, three, four. Might put one extra one there because it's nice and sloppy. And then what you'll see is the line. Can you see it already extending up? starting to go you can see that you can watch that happen that's almost instant and then it goes past the first one the t the t is the line that tells you if you've got covid and the c is uh, a test line on the top to tell you that the test uh, is functional and is working properly so now you can already see a faint line coming through can you see that see i'm still positive you see that's almost instant this time uh, coming through which says I'm still COVID positive this morning and then the C line will come in now what's interesting is the first time I was positive the C line came on first and then a few minutes later the T line came on so it's not always consistent that one comes on before the other so you do have to wait the 20 minutes that they say you need to wait for the um, for, for the two lines to appear 
But there you go, the sea line is coming into view now, and woohoo! I have yet another day four positive COVID test.